Good afternoon guys and happy Friday to all your sunshiny faces. I thought I would share with you guys a fun little haul that I did to the grocery stores today because for one I've not done one of these in insanely long time since well before quarantine um, and I haven't posted anything obviously on my Killing It With Coupons channel even before that but um, I haven't shared any of the deals and today at Jewel I was so totally excited everything worked out perfectly um last week my dad ended up going to jewel and actually he had a problem with the number not going through and stuff like that so um but he went by himself because he was with the whole issue with the car accident and everything like that we didn't have our car he just stopped on the way home from work um and so he did last week's deals and they were like okay but um i thought i'd share with you guys this week's deals because i was pretty impressed with myself <laughs> um actually getting everything to work and like i said everything went perfectly smooth um it ended up being 45 dollars at jewel and i think just under 25 dollars at caputo's um but we did get which is in the oven currently right now i can turn the light on and actually show you guys um we've got down in there is a oh yeah the blades on there i forgot about that <laughs> um macaroni and cheese from their like um their fresh you know like market section whatever it's called ma macaroni and cheese because they didn't have this week the pizzas on sale um normally they have the pizzas on sale six dollars on friday for the cheese pizzas and we get two um and they didn't have them so since matthew wasn't going to be home anyway we just went with a half pan of um what's it called macaroni and cheese which kind of stinks though because like even before they had the um Mastacholi on sale for five dollars for a half pan so like i felt like 10 it was 10.99 i think for the half pan was kind of a little much but it should feed us for dinner just for the four of us and um it's cheaper i guess than getting like takeout or something like that so um yes we do have to cook it here and it's supposed to be i think the heat index is supposed to be like 105 or 102 or something like that today um around five o'clock which is right about now so it's like the hottest point in the day and we turned the stove on which wasn't probably the smartest idea but anyways i will share with you guys the deals like i said that i ended up doing because i was really excited so jewel actually had an 88 cent sale when you bought eight participating items like i don't know they're crazy eight sale or something i think it was what it was called um but there's no limit so you could buy i think now this is what i think happens is that you have to buy at least eight products um and like or in multiples of eight so although it doesn't say that on the ad um i ended up actually doing the deal basically four times but you do it all in the same transaction so um i just ended up getting what's that 32 items um so it was you know a multiple of eight now i'm not sure because it doesn't state that it doesn't say you have to buy in multiples sometimes too if they have like a pop sale they'll say when you buy in multiples of four limit eight or something like that this doesn't have a limit it doesn't say any limit or anything like that obviously when this video comes out it'll be after that but sometimes too when jewel does that it's just like to pay attention to those kind of things or any grocery store in general um but they um I think too, so you might be able to buy 10 products and still get them for $8.88. I think it's just you have to buy a minimum like fresh, uh, like threshold of eight products and then you might be able to get them still at 88 cents even if you don't buy them in multiples of eight. I've never tried that before so that's why I was like, well you know what, they had, like I said, a handful of really good deals and um, so I just ended up getting, like I said, 32 items at $8.88. So that alone, do the math i can't do it off the top of my head was a little bit much and then that we ended up adding in a couple of other things that were on sale or part of their coupons which they have been doing like a weekly like summer sale kind of thing um where like with their coupons the like the just for you coupons they're super cheap so i think we got the like four participating items for this week that were like real cheap with the you know the coupons and stuff like that so here's what we ended up getting this was everything this side was everything from jewel which was like i said 45 dollars plus there's also not pictured three gallons of water and then also to a little thing of ice cream that's in the freezer because it had started melting already so that was 45 dollars at jewel like i said everything worked perfectly there i actually had ten dollars worth of coupons which was sort of this section and then also that ice cream um and a couple of other like you know like i said sale items and then at caputo's it was 25 um but again that was 10.99 for the 
the macaroni and cheese that's in there. So this stuff here was about 10 bucks ended up costing. Um, so like I said, I'll kind of share with you guys because I haven't done this in so long and I've been missing out on doing this. And like I said, since I thought Jewel was such a, you know, at least pretty good deal this week, um, even just sales wise, not even using coupons and stuff like that. I was like, this is definitely worth probably sharing with you guys a little bit of. So I didn't get a lot of meat this week. And then again, too, this isn't all of our groceries because we're still going to Jewel or to Aldi and Valley Produce tomorrow. Um, I will have some more stuff to get, but the last two weeks, especially, I've stocked up a lot in, um, what's it called? Uh, like, uh, meat and stuff like that and made freezer dinners with them. So this week there wasn't really a lot of meat on sale. We did get chicken Kiev, which again we will use for a dinner one night. Um, ground turkey, which I'm going to save and freeze and actually defrost and then do um, when I get ground beef on sale and mix it in with that just because my mom's not a huge fan of ground turkey, but it was a really good deal that I didn't want to pass up. So um, I ended up getting one package of that and I'll just mix that in when I do like ground beef. So if I get like a four pound thing of ground beef or something like that, I'll mix this in and do five pounds in total um so you know like i said she's not a huge fan of it but she doesn't mind if it's mixed if it's like half and half so that's what i'm going to do with that um but again really didn't get any meat deals or anything like that this week and again that's not everything that we're getting but it was pretty good for some stock up stuff more snack stuff and things like that but again it was overall some pretty good deals so um, this was all the stuff that was $8.88 pretty much from the spinach and then all of this sort of stuff. So the cereals, again, these were all that $0.88, cents, um, which like these are normally $3 a box. So that was a really great deal. We ended up getting four of those. We also got four of the Gatorades, which were also the same price again. Um, we got one pretty much for everybody. I don't like Gatorade. So one for Matthew, Jack, my mom, and dad. Um, and then also two, I'm kind of low on spaghetti, so we got two of those and then also a thing of rotation as well um, because these were I was gonna get at Caputo's theirs was 89 cents and these were 88 cents so I was like I'll go ahead and get, grab these over here for this price and the Pringles 288 cents which is a pretty good price we got three of those um, I also got three things of seven up so I got two of the diet seven ups and then one of the regular seven ups because last week my mom had asked for some she likes to do like diet seven up with orange juice um, and they were a um, dollar last week I got them at Valley Produce but I was like for 88 cents that's an even better deal and that way she will have be stocked up in those for a little while um, and then the apple juice which was also 88 cents normally I get these for 99 cents like Valley Produce has them a lot of times on sale sometimes Caputo's does every once in a while Jewel will but theirs normally I don't see like under a dollar for these so that was a pretty good price and then again to Chicken Kiev um, the exact same brand at Valley Produce were 99 cents this week and I was going to stock up and get some because I think they're $1.29 in Aldi so again this compared to all these price which we would normally get Chicken Kiev and we I think are kind of pretty much out of um, ended up being being only you know like saving almost pretty much 50 cents on each of them compared to all the price which is you know saving us three bucks pretty much um because i got six of those and then the baby peeled carrots these were also 88 cents anything i really feel like under a dollar for baby carrots are a good price so we got two of those um and obviously matthew and jack and everybody sort of likes to snack on those and then spinach too which i think is normally upwards of a dollar fifty or more sometimes at aldi um for my like spinach salads for this week so that was 88 cents as well so so those were the 88 cents deals and like I said um, I'll show you guys the other three items that I got to get me to that 32 um, products but the um, the coupons the um, big like I think it's a two pound bag or whatever it is of the big you know shredded cheese at Jewel was only $2.99 I believe at Aldi I think it's $5.99 for their big thing of cheese so I went ahead and picked one of those up that was with the coupon these home run in pizzas which are normally also pretty expensive normally five dollars on sale were 3.99 so it wasn't a crazy great price but we love these and they're awesome and again to have an easy dinner because i do have a lot of you know freezer dinners that i made over the last few weeks i probably have made close to over the last maybe three weeks like probably close to 20 um but again just for like easy convenient dinners and stuff like that that was 3.99 with the coupon this didn't have a coupon but it's 3.99 this is my new favorite um coffee <laughs> and it's at all the five 
$29, I think. It was $3.99 on sale at Jewel. So again, I figured it's actually saving more money, so that's why I went ahead and picked it up. Um, but I normally would have gotten it at Aldi anyway this week. And then this was only $0.99. Cents. I think it was $2.99. There was a $2 coupon, so it was $0.99. Cents. And again, like I said, I will add that in just as an extra pound of ground you know, turkey um, with the ground beef when we do that. And then grapes were $1.49 a pound, and we ended up getting... Um, I think it was close to like three bucks or four or something like that. So I think it was right around like two or so pounds, um, maybe a little bit more. The other in-ad coupon thing, like I said, I had to throw in here was the Baskin Robbins ice cream. Um, that was uh, 75 cents and um, it was with the, the, um, the coupon as well, but it was um, starting to melt. So I threw it in the freezer real quick too. I have to get the other frozen stuff in there because again, it is hot out. I probably need to get these chicken Kiev and the, the pizzas and stuff like that thrown in there. The other thing too that we ended up getting for our fish tank actually, which is up there and it <laughs> this is picking it up way worse I think it needs to be cleaned out so we normally wind up um, changing out the water you know sort of or refilling it and so we get the distilled water like gallon water um, so these were also 88 cents we end up getting three of these as well um, for again refilling the fish tank because that's what we needed them for um, and my dad was actually planning on doing that soon anyway and was normally these are like a dollar plus so for 88 cents it was a better deal to get those and then over at Caputo's um, like I said we ended up getting so to go with that pizza when we wind up cooking it which maybe won't be this week maybe in a future week um, I wanted to make sure that we had some more because we will eat through one pizza like everybody will get a slice basically um, so we ended up getting two more also the, their pizzas which were also on sale for uh, Two fifty each. This was five bucks as well for another two. You know, not as great tasting pizzas, but um, you know, just sort of as a frozen pizza dinner one night. Um, so again, that's like you know um, under ten bucks really for making a, a pizza dinner sort of thing. Um, so again, these were two fifty each, and then these organic grape tomatoes were on sale for a dollar fifty. Um, cauliflower was fifty nine cents a pound. Um, cilantro was twenty five cents. Uh, avocados, I got four of these. They were 79 cents. The um, lemons were 99 cents a pound, and I think this was like a dollar 25 for all four of them. The cucumber was 39 cents a pound. I have no clue how much it weighed, but um, <laughs> whatever we ended up paying for that. And then also the limes, which were a dollar for 12. And I love these doing my um, like chickpea salads with avocados. So that's why I was the ones in the fridge were kind of starting to look questionable. So I stocked back up on some of these. Guys, like I said, that was you you know again $25 but that was also including the the um, mac and cheese in the fridge as well um the oven that's where it's cooking <laughs> it's not cooking in the fridge anyways guys so yeah like I said I wanted to share with you guys that just because it's kind of like you know we just sort of roll with the punches what's ever on sale so there wasn't a ton of great meat sales this week so that's why I focused a little bit more on trying to get some other things to stock up on cereal some chips apple juice you know pop um and like I said even the pasta and um, the chicken Kiev. Plus we got a bunch of the produce stuff at Caputo's and we're gonna get more at Valley Produce as well. And I think Aldi has cherries and some other stuff too. So I'll maybe share that with you guys as well tomorrow. But I just thought since I was going through my haul actually and was actually putting everything away that I would share with you guys what I ended up doing this week. Cause um, at Jewel we saved $55 and only spent 45. So we saved 55% I think it was or something like that. Um, and you know, like I said, it was a pretty good deal and the 10 bucks for the stuff we ended up getting at um sorry guys that is the um <laughs> the oven let me know that the mac and cheese needs to be taken out so i'm going to do that but I, like i said thought i'd share with you guys um sort of a haul because i haven't shared one in a while well guys i'm going to take a shower and get to bed i've got to get up again to go to the other two grocery stores tomorrow um but i was also i was actually i got every single thing every last thing on my planner done for today which is awesome edited and uploaded this morning i did dishes and laundry today i also washed my bedding which is all clean I half washed it last night um, and then washed the other like I just washed this top blanket last night and then all the other stuff um, today and then I also watered the plants I needed to do that today which I got done I also had on my planner to go to the grocery stores obviously I got that all done and everything went really well and then also too I needed to um, write more of my um, my essay for my online class I was able to I didn't write a whole ton I wrote 
honestly maybe about the same amount as I did in the first paragraph but this one is probably gonna be a longer paragraph um so and it, it'll probably be more than one paragraph um but I ended up probably adding another like 200 plus words which is pretty good um and i also did a lot more research though today so it should hopefully help me fill in fill in a lot more to write about tomorrow um and so that's my plan is that hopefully again doing some of this will help to ease a little bit more of that that i don't have so much i have to write um like over this weekend too because we're going to try and get to some projects done tomorrow um i know building the kitchen drawer um our big main like silverware drawer sort of thing we need to do that tomorrow um or i think that's the plan that we want to get to tomorrow but it kind of needs to be done because right now we've got stuff in the stuff that's normally in that box in a bin in the kitchen and so it needs to be put in the right place in the drawer that still doesn't even exist did you guys hear that the dog just sneezed so loud um it needs to happen tomorrow so i think we're going to do that and i think there's a couple other little things too that we're going to try and get to over this weekend but i know that that's one of the main ones so again guys i'll see you all in tomorrow's vlog if you guys did enjoy today's make sure you guys give it a big old thumbs up if you guys are new we'd love if you'd subscribe and i'll see all of your sunshiny faces tomorrow so bye guys